What if I told you that beneath the icy silence of Antarctica once roamed a six-foot-tall predator with claws like knives and the speed of a charging beast? A flesh-eating bird as tall as a man and as heavy as a lion ruled this forgotten jungle at the bottom of the world. It couldn't fly, but it didn't need to. It could kill with a single strike. And now, all that remains are two massive, terrifying claws buried in the frozen earth. What happened to this monster? And could even greater beasts still be hidden beneath the ice? They say Antarctica is lifeless, just an empty, frozen void. But peel back the ice and you'll uncover something truly terrifying. Million years ago, long before the first flakes of polar snow ever fell, Antarctica was a paradise. A warm, humid world teeming with green forests, flowing rivers, and creatures lost to time. And deep in these prehistoric jungles, something hunted, something fast, merciless, and massive. A giant, flesh-eating bird, standing over six feet tall and weighing nearly as much as a lion, it was no ordinary predator. It couldn't fly. It didn't need to. With legs built for blistering speed and a hooked beak sharp enough to tear flesh from bone, this was the stuff of nightmares. Scientists call it forest rakos, but the world knows them as terror birds. These apex predators once ruled South America, dominating the food chain for millions of years. But no one imagined they ever reached Antarctica until paleontologists uncovered something astonishing. On the icy outcrop of Seymour Island, buried beneath millions of years of frozen sediment, they found two massive claw bones, sharp, curved, predatory. These claws were unlike anything seen before in Antarctica, and there was no mistaking them. This was a terror bird, proof that these monstrous creatures once stalked the ancient forests of the southern continent. Back then, South America and Antarctica weren't strangers. They were connected by land bridges, allowing animals to migrate freely. And so, forest racids, masters of prehistoric South America, ventured south and thrived. Imagine this, dense forests blanketed in ferns and towering conifers, temperatures mild enough to support crocodiles, turtles, and marsupials. And in the shadows, these giant birds darted through the underbrush, hunting smaller mammals, perhaps even challenging juvenile dinosaurs lingering in the post-extinction world. For millions of years, they were untouchable. But then, the warmth began to fade. Antarctica, slowly and unrelentingly, began to cool. The lush forests withered, the rivers froze, and as the ecosystem collapsed, the terror birds vanished. Their prey disappeared. Their environment turned hostile. And just like that, one of Earth's most terrifying predators disappeared into extinction, leaving behind only fragments. Two claws. That's all we have. Two haunting reminders of a forgotten king. But what if there's more? Some researchers believe we've only scratched the surface. If terror birds made it to Antarctica, could even larger undiscovered species still lie hidden beneath the ice? It's not impossible. Antarctica's fossil record is still largely buried under sheets of ice up to three miles thick. Every year, melting ice reveals new secrets, new species, new stories. And terror birds weren't the only giants. Around 38 million years ago, the Antarctic coast was home to penguins the size of adult humans. Fossils of Palaeodipts show these. Penguins stood nearly six feet tall, with long, spear-like beaks that made them formidable underwater hunters. Forget waddling tuxedo birds. These were swift, sharp-beaked predators slicing through the waves in pursuit of squid and fish. Even today, Antarctica's waters remain home to some of the most extraordinary and horrifying creatures on Earth. Meet the colossal squid. Not the giant squid, the colossal one. A behemoth stretching over 40 feet long, with eyes the size of dinner plates and a razor-sharp beak capable of shredding prey in the inky black depths, and patrolling these icy oceans, are orcas, the wolves of the sea. 
These apex predators hunt in pods, coordinating attacks with military precision. They can take down seals, penguins, and even blue whales. Their dominance is unmatched. But even they are part of a much larger puzzle, one that stretches back millions of years. People often believe Antarctica is barren, but it's not, not even close. Tiny plants like moss and pearlwort cling to life on the fringes of the ice. Insects, microscopic animals called tardigrades, and even soil-dwelling worms exist here. Life is everywhere, tenacious, surprising, sometimes even terrifying. And myths, they abound. Some claim that icebergs, once broken off, drift straight into the ocean like silent ghosts. But in reality, these frozen giants often stay stuck to the seafloor for years, spinning in place in massive whirlpools. One iceberg, A23A, was trapped for nearly 40 years before breaking free, only to get caught again for eight more months. Icebergs, like the predators of the past, are unpredictable forces. Others whisper of ice walls and secret barriers keeping humans out. But the truth is far less mysterious and far more incredible. Antarctica has been explored by planes, tracked by satellites, and studied by international research teams. Massive stations like McMurdo and the Amundsen Scott South, Pole Station house scientists year-round. They brave deadly winds, temperatures as low as 112 degrees, and supply lines stretched across thousands of miles, all in the name of discovery. And what are they finding? That Antarctica, our last untouched frontier, may be waking up. In 2020, researchers recorded a staggering 69 degrees on Seymour Island, the same place where those two terror bird claws were found. A temperature warmer than London or New York, it sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Could Antarctica be shifting back toward its ancient forested state? Climate change is rewriting everything we know about this continent. What? Once was a land of monsters may rise again. Not with birds of prey, but with melting ice, rising seas, and ecosystems forced to adapt. So what else lies beneath? Could complete skeletons of terror birds still be trapped in the permafrost? Could ancient species unknown to science still be waiting to be uncovered? The answers may be hidden just beneath our feet, encased in a world of ice that's slowly revealing its secrets, one fossil at a time. Antarctica was never empty. It was alive, vibrant, dangerous, and if we keep digging, we might just unearth the next terrifying chapter of Earth's forgotten history. If this journey into Antarctica's prehistoric jungle thrilled your imagination, don't forget to like this video, share it with fellow adventurers, and subscribe to Extinct World, because this is just the beginning. The ice is melting, and with it, the past is waking up.